In this video, I'll be showing you the new features of Raw Power for iOS 1.1, including the following. The first feature is the new Raw Images Smart Album, which is created and maintained by Raw Power. This will show you all of the raw images in your library. You can also filter any album to show just the raws. For example, I can tap on the All Photos album, and at the bottom I can tap on the Raw button. To demonstrate this, I'll first tap on the Info tab. There are over 4,000 images in this library. After I tap the Raw button, it updates to about 700 items. This setting is stored per album. Another important feature of Raw Power 1.1 is the ability to see folders and hierarchy. This is especially useful if your album comes from the Mac version of Photos or perhaps from iPhoto or Aperture. As you can see here, I have an iPhoto Events folder because my library originated in iPhoto and Aperture. I organize my photos by year, so you can see a folder for each year. I'll tap on 2015. These are the albums that I had put in the 2015 folder, and I can jump to them right from here. In addition, the hierarchy is visible in the inspector. You can see here the iPhoto events folder and all the folders beneath. I can tap on 2015 again and see the same albums that I saw in the previous view. By the way, I can also move the inspector from side to side. This is not a new feature of Raw Power 1.1, but it's an important one to demonstrate nonetheless. Next, I'll show some new features in OneUp and Edit. The first feature that's important to know in OneUp is the ability to delete images. I can tap the trash can icon in the top bar here and be able to delete an image right from this point. If I enter Edit, we can see some additional features. For example, I have the ability to hide and show the thumbnails at the bottom as well as export images to the Files app for iOS. I do that by tapping the third button at the top that looks kind of like a Share button sideways. As you can see here, I get a choice of file formats, JPEG, 8 and 16-bit TIFF, and 8 and 16-bit PNG, and a choice of three different color profiles. When I export the image, Raw Power will then give me a a dialog which lets me select where I'm going to place the resulting rendered file in the Files app. I'm switching to an iPhone now so you can see some of the improvements that have been made for phones, especially in portrait orientation. Here in OneUp, uh, there's now support for 3D Touch, so you can press firmly on the picture and you can do things like favorite, share, delete, or remove from an album if it's a user-created album as opposed to a smart album like the recently viewed one is here. If I go into Edit, we can see some additional new features. The first one is an improved layout for adjusting. Now there's more space given to the picture. So for example, with raw processing, the most of the sliders are actually available by scrolling. The exception is curves. Curves is actually given the entire area first to show all of the controls to make it easier to use. The next feature I want to show is Auto Histogram, which is available in the menu up here. If I turn on Auto Histogram, the histogram will appear but only when I'm adjusting an image. So as you can see, the histogram appears immediately, and when I let go, it disappears. In settings, I can actually reverse the sense of that so that the histogram appears normally, and when I start moving a slider is when it disappears. Those are both made so that you can actually see the picture when you want to and see the histogram when you want to as well. Show Original has also been changed. In 1.1, it's a toggle. You tap it to turn it on and tap it to turn it off. It's also connected to the M key, so if you have a keyboard attached, you can just hit the M key. There's also a new improvement made for slider precision. Normally, when you move a slider, it can change quite a bit. But if I move my finger down below, and then start moving, you can see I get much more precision. I can also move above the image or above the slider. The last thing to show are the new preferences, which are available in the Settings app. 
you have the ability to control the inspector location on either the left or the right side. You can also, of course, drag the inspector to move from side to side. You can invert the autohistogram, which I described a second ago, and also have control over the quality of JPEG, the compression quality, DPI that gets written to the files that are exported, and the film strip size, which can be set to small, medium, or large. This concludes this quick tour of Raw Power 1.1. Thank you.